pasta. So right here, I have some pasta water, some salted water boiling. We're gonna par cook the spaghetti in because it's gonna finish cooking in the wine. So that's super important, but we'll get back to that. In the skillet, I'm going to add a fourth cup of olive oil um, in a heated pan. The oil is heated. We are going to add eight to 10 garlic cloves. Yes, trust me on this, garlic is key. All right, so in they go. It might not be quite warm enough, but we're just gonna go with it. And then as many red pepper flakes as you like. I think the recipe says like a half teaspoon to a teaspoon, depending on what you want. Um, I like to be a little generous. And then a pinch of salt. So the key with salt when you're cooking is to add it in layers. So I'm gonna add a little bit now, stir it up, let it do its, let it do its thing. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just keep on kind of layering it and taste it as it goes. So this is gonna cook for a few minutes while right here, the pasta is going to parboil, I guess, par cook, I don't know. Hopefully you get the gist. Excuse the steam from the pasta water that's about ready. So the garlic's cooked for a few minutes. It's starting to get a little soft here. So what we're gonna add do is add the key ingredient. Two and a fourth cup worth of wine. Use wine you like to drink. Okay, I know you can see the box of wine there. I had like half a bottle left and I supplemented with a box of wine, which I drink box of wine, so it's fine. Like, you can totally do that. So we're gonna slowly add the wine. Oh my goodness, look at that. I just totally spilled everywhere. Okay, now this is going to come to a boil. You guys didn't know this was gonna be so up close and personal, did you? So I'm going to add the pasta now. This is just problematic, isn't it? I decided to make the full recipe because, you know, I'm crazy, I'm one person. But anyway, full pasta. So as I was saying, normally if I'm making it for me, I will do a half batch, but Instagram distracts me and I just followed the full recipe. So I'm gonna be eating this for a week, but good thing it's delicious. So the pasta has cooked for, like I said, three to four minutes. I think it's been like three. And you can see it's still pretty stiff, which is good, that's what we want, because we want it to soak up the wine. So transfer it all carefully. Without your phone falling in inside everything. To the wine. Oh shit, okay, be right back. Anyway. <laughs> Stir it up so that it gets coated with the wine. It's not all going to be submerged, but that's okay. You can keep stirring it and it's going to cook for about like six to eight minutes. This pasta that I used today, see, 85% says it is al dente in 10 minutes. So I'm probably going to cook this one a little longer than I normally would like other pastas. So just check the box. Well, this baby simmers up. We are gonna toast the pied nuts. So these are in just a little skillet and we're gonna put it just like low medium heat-ish cause they're gonna burn easily if I um, get distracted by Instagram. So let those toast up. This is just gonna keep cooking and meanwhile, the pasta is al dente. So now we're gonna add some butter. I love adding butter. And some grated Parmesan. You could probably use freshly, you know, grated, but I just bought the grated kind. So mix this all in. This is where the creaminess comes into play. And then we'll top it with the pine nuts and it's done. Okay, so I'm just mixing in the butter, making sure everything gets coated with the cheese too. Oh my gosh, you guys, I wish you were here to smell this. It smells so good and it's gonna taste so good. And clearly I have enough to share, so I wish you were here. Here you have it. Some more cheese, you put the pine nuts on there. Some parsley, cause it's what I had. And now I'm gonna go dig in and probably watch some Handmaid's Tale. Cheers.